Hey, this is Glendon Cameron with day three of the power of the six. That's right, the power of six. You will need open mind seven to 14 minutes per day. The big thing too. Part of this power of six path is creating your own world by getting things done. There is clutter, un completed projects. There's all kinds of stuff in your life that's just a bottleneck to your success. Once we start getting these things done, clearing the way, you will find yourself more peaceful, more creative, and ultimately more successful. The big thing too. Resume work on your big thing list. Let your dreams roll. Do not censor yourself. During your lunch break, think about your big thing. Make this a preoccupation. Before you go to bed tonight, look at your big thing. Create new habits. Create a new life. This seems exceptionally simple. I want you to understand that each one of you listening to this have a level of brilliance. But the problem is you don't have a habit of getting things done. Once you develop this process, your brilliance will come out in all types of ways. This is day three. You will put two more things on your list to be done. At this point, you should have four things done. Once again, this is underwhelming. It is not stressing you. And it's done like this for a reason. If you get to the point where you put six things on your list and you go whole while and then you don't get things done, then you start feeling like, oh, well, this isn't going to work. And all that stuff starts. This whole thing is designed to prime you to start building that habit because sometimes I'll take myself. There's days I do not want to go to the gym. Feeling a little sleepy, feeling a little achy, a little whiny. And I've realized that once I get in my vehicle and I head on the road, it's still a struggle. I get in the gym, it's still a struggle. Sometimes the first set feels heavy, which happened today. But once I get into my routine, bam, it's on. And that's what this is designed to do, to get you started, to pull you out of that place you're in and to get you on that path of like, OK, because once you get started, it is easier to stay started. It is much easier to develop the habit, because if you could just push yourself to begin, it's easier. It's like starting a flywheel. There's a great deal of effort it takes to get the flywheel going. But once it's moving, oh, that's no problem. It, it can roll on its own for a long time. So that's what this is about. So you should have four things done. And what I want you to do, and this is what I call little wins. Take some of the things that you have done, should be four, put them on the list and put them somewhere. Uh, what I like to do on my list is draw a line through the things that are done. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. And the more things that you get accomplished, the better you're gonna feel about yourself. So put those four things on the list, Look at them, you know, look at them at work tomorrow. Look at them. Just pull them out. It's like, yeah, I got these things done. And two more things on the list today and get them done. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you in the next session.